Johan is brought here. Again, I would like to share with you how to go about uh, doing the SG arrival card. Okay. So the website to go is just open one browser and uh, Google for Google for ICA SG arrival. Okay, the first link is called the SG arrival. SGAX electronic electronic health decoration by ICA. I click on it. After that, I click submit online. Okay. And with, there are only two options either for local, people who are staying here, long term, like Singapore citizen, PR, or long term visit pass. Select the one on the left. If not, generally for our worker, we choose the one on the right for foreign visitor that include IP and owner. Okay, click on it. Okay, uh, I will usually cho choose the one for individual submission because I do not have much people that come in. Okay, so the passport number. Passport number is given by my supplier, the one that sent the girl. Okay, this one I want to take a look at the passport. What is it? the information the name is yeah no okay passport number is mm and day of birth is 0 2 10 199 Okay. Confirm. Continue. Verify is correct again. That me yeah, no okay. Day of birth October second one nine nine eight. Passport number MF two nine two three five six three. Okay, sex will be female. Passport expiry date is mentioned here thirteen zero five two zero two seven. Country of birth is Myanmar. It's a resident, Myanmar. Ah, no, sorry. Look at the passport, place of birth. For this case, is you can find us the city that she come from. So that's from Myanmar. Myanmar, Yangon. Let's go Yangon. It's actually from this place called. Airport, which I cannot search in here, so no choice. I have to put Myanmar Yangon. Okay, confirm email address. This is I can put my email address, the company one. The mobile number is by right. I have to put in her mobile number, but actually, I put in my one. Okay, after that, I can continue. It says I have the information. Yeah, I have to input the email twice. So this will complete the form for this part, which is still under particular. And I will continue. Okay, date of arrival is the date which the help the person will arrive like, in Singapore. My case will be 14 March 2023. Number of travel, of course by air. Over here, it will ask you what kind of flight you need. Of course, you is flying in by commercial. Definitely not private, cargo, or others. So, it's by commercial. Flight number. Flight okay. number wise, again, have to refer to the air ticket. Air ticket says that she is flying from this carrier code 8F. Flight number is uh, 2 3 Logic. Yeah, just be careful that this is asking for a block floor number. Most of us we would like to fill in the floor number and the unit number together. But for this case, together. Okay, so which is 
the last city is the person to depart from Myanmar. For here, it's asked if she were to depart from Singapore, where she is going. Again, Yangon. Because the place that she come from is the place that she go back to. Okay, this one we are usually I put in one month later from the date she entered Singapore. So, yeah, this is the date one month later. When she entered on the 14th March. She entered in 14th March. Sorry, 14 March, yeah. Okay, so she leave one month later. April 13th. The question is asking whether have the helper use a different passport. Uh, using a different name, the answer is no. Okay, asking whether is there any shortage of uh, any shortage, I mean the, the contact duration for COVID related issues. I would know. Asking the next question, whether did she travel to these places? Verify all the information here again to see if it's correct. If everything is correct, I quit and check this checkbox to continue. If with the verification code, submit. And I'm done. Okay, with this, I can do a PDF download and I can send this to the person coming to Singapore. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much. Bye bye.